Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Well, in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make Guyanese black pudding. This recipe is made out of blood. So if anyone be, would be offended of me using blood, you can click off the video, it's okay. But all my Guyanese people, they know how to make black pudding and you have to make black pudding with blood. So I hope you guys like my video, give my video a thumbs up, and please subscribe to my channel. And here is my ingredients. Okay guys, so this is some of the ingredients to my Guyanese black pudding. I just break a coconut and I cut it up into small pieces. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to blend it up to get some natural coconut milk. And then we have some marred man pork here with some hot weary pepper. And then over here we have some broad leaf thyme and some fine leaf thyme. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is blend the coconut to get the coconut milk we just pour a little water in it normally I do all this and then start my video but I want to show you guys step by step how everything is being made okay. we're gonna blend and get our coconut milk okay so my coconut has been finished blending so what I'm gonna do now is strain not in here so we can make our black pudding with some natural coconut milk so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna rinse this off I'll be back okay so what we're gonna do now we're gonna blend our broad leaf thyme and fine leaf thyme and marred man pork together so just gonna put everything into the blender How are we going to do? We're going to blend the broad leaf and the fine leaf thyme. And then we're going to put the rest in. Just put a little water. So we're going to blend up now the broad leaf and the fine leaf. Okay, so my broad leaf and fine leaf finished blending up. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to leave it right in here, so I'm going to put in my tree weary pepper and I'm going to put in my marred man pork. Let it burn right in here. So blend this up now. Okay, so now my marred man pork, my pepper, broadly fine, fine, time, everything done blend up here. So we'll deal with that just now. So what I'm doing now is just straining my coconut milk, my natural coconut milk. I'm just straining it and then I'm going to put on my rice. And you guys, you guys will see the next step. Okay guys, so this is some of the ingredients again <laughs> so we have our fresh blood here and we have the raw leaf thyme fine leaf thyme marred man pork with the weary pepper you also need to get a funnel also I have some sugar here I have some ground spice jiro black pepper two cubes and I have the runners here as well I soak this overnight in some lime and lemon all right so what we have over here now is the coconut milk that I just strain off here. So I just put on my pot there and I have one cup of rice here. So what I'm going to do is put my rice into the coconut milk. All my rice into the coconut milk. Don't worry guys, I got you guys. I'm going to show you guys step by step everything that I'm doing. Good. So in your coconut milk now you're gonna put you can either put salt or you can put cubes. I prefer to put cubes. So I'm gonna put two cubes in mine. When it's near finish I'll taste it and see if it needs any more. 
with two cubes. I should have seen this cube before I put it on the camera. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna put my some black pepper. I'm also gonna put my ground spice. And I'm gonna put my jeera. And then I'm gonna stir them. Stir it up. It's similar to like if you're cooking um cook up. So it's similar to that. And you're gonna let it boil, but don't let it boil like mushy mushy. So let it boil. I'll show you guys, I'll show you guys, but don't let it boil too soft. It must finish at the right point of time, but don't let it boil too soft at all, because the rice won't come out good in the runners. It would be hard to put in the runners. So for now, I'm just going to let this cook for about 10 minutes. So we'll be back. In the meantime, I'm going to go and strain my fresh blood. Okay guys, so my rice has been boiling for about 8 minutes on high, so I just put it on low and let it steam and I took off the cover and I just taste it. So it just need one more cube. And then I'm going to stir it in. Let me see if I can put the phone so you guys can see. Here it is here. This is how it's looking. And I'm also going to put two tablespoons of brown sugar. That's going to bring up the flavor. I'm going to let this cook for about five more minutes without the cover on. Let it steam and taste it. Mm, perfect. Wow. It's really good already. I'm gonna let this cook for about five more minutes. So when I finish, I'll be back. Okay, guys. So my rice finished steaming. So I have to let it cool. So what you're gonna do? You can take it out of your pot. Either put you can put it in a bowl, but I got a big bowl, so I'm just gonna put it in this pan here. put all the rice in here this rice smells so good with all the spices inside of it, it smells really good Should we get out all the rice can you guys see oh yeah and you're gonna leave this in this pan here to let it cool probably gonna take about a half an hour to hour to cool but you gotta leave it let cool or if you want put it in the fridge put it in the fridge and it can cool faster but you can mix up the rest of stuff if the rice is um, if the rice is hot all right so when it cool I'll show you guys the next step Okay guys, so my rice has been cooling for about an hour. So this is the rice here. So I'm going to strain my blood now. Don't judge me for my beat up blood. Um, <laughs> for my beat up um, strainer. I know I need a new one. <laughs> My blood is strainer. Strain here. Okay, so the next step now, you're gonna put in your raw leaf thyme, fine leaf thyme, and marred marker. And mix it into the rice. 
smells so good. Yummy. Okay, so I mix up my marred man poke, fine leaf thyme and broad leaf thyme into the rice. So what I'm going to do now is just put a little tip more sugar. And just a little tip of all-purpose seasoning. And I'm also going to put a little tip more all spice. Just a little drop all around. Perfect. And then I'm going to mix everything together. Then I'm going to mix everything together like this. Okay, so I'm going to taste it now. Mm. Perfect, tastes good. So what you're going to do now, you're going to put your blood. Like, I'm going to warn everyone who don't want to use blood or hope nobody's offended by me using blood so this is a Guyanese dish so black pudding make with blood all right so I hope I don't offend anyone so I'm gonna put in my blood now and I'm gonna mix it up together Some more. I'm gonna mix it up. Make sure the blood is combined, mix up in all the rice. So all the rice have the blood now. So what I'm going to do now is put this mixture into the runners. So I'm going to show you guys that now. Okay guys, so the next step now, I hope you guys can see, is you take the runners and you put it over. I think I have another piece. Take the runners and you put it over and put it like this. Yeah. And then you're gonna put some in the funnel. I hope you guys can see. Okay, I'm going to put some in the funnel. And press it down. And let it go into the... Okay guys, so I had to take off the bottom piece, so what I'm going to do is take the bottom piece and just try to push it down. Oops. Okay guys, so I have to hold the funnel tight at the bottom while I'm pushing down. Like this. Hold it tight and push down. Reach like this, you just push it down more to the end, and you keep pushing more like pushing more like this, just pushing it down to the end.
okay so as you can see this one here finish so I'm gonna make another one now hmm. making black button is a lot of work and it takes up a lot of time too I love eating black pudding and white pudding, but I don't like making it because it's too much work. So you can you have to hold at the bottom here, and then you're gonna put it in here, and then you're gonna push down. Push down like this, and then you're gonna pull it down straight to the other uh, end. But you gotta leave a little space. Don't put it till at the end, and then and no space. You gotta leave a little space. All right, so I'll do the rest off camera, and I'll show you guys the next step when I return. Okay guys, so I just finished stuffing my black pudding. So I just put on a pot of water to boil it. Not really boil it, but leave it in the pot for about 10 minutes. I'll show you guys, I'll show you guys. So when my water is hot, I'm gonna put this into my pot. So we'll be back. Whew. I'm so tired too. <laughs> Making black pudding easy, trust me. It's not an easy job. It's a lot of step towards it, but when you finish and the end result and your food is delicious, it will be all worth it in the end. So we'll be back when my water get hot. Okay, so my pot here, the water's hot. So I'm gonna put my black pudding in the pot now. Put them in one by one. Okay, and you're gonna see the next step just now. Okay, let me show you how it's yeah. looking so far. Yeah. You see, they didn't even had to like tie it with a string because at the end, you see how the end by the hot water, it closed in itself. So you don't have to tie it with a string. At least the runners that way you get in Guyana. I don't know about the runners when you get um, from other country, if those runners um close up like how the Guyana runners would close up all right so but if you want you can um tie it with a string so this is how it's looking so far it's been five minutes so far so I'm gonna let it boil for another six to seven more minutes so we'll be back okay guys I'm back I didn't get to show you when I took it out of the pot because my phone battery had died and had to charge. So, what I did when I took it out of the hot water, I took some oil and I rub it all over. You take some oil and take a brush and you rub the oil all over. And then you're going to get a knife. This is how it's looking. If you guys can see, I'm gonna cut it open. Oopsie. I need to buy a sharp knife. 
but this is how it's looking inside hope you guys can see seeing the rice I'm gonna cut it up now and then show you guys the end results okay guys so this is the end results to my guineas black pudding here it is I show you guys step by step it was a long procedure but I did it okay so I'm gonna taste my black pudding now on the camera and I'm gonna put it into my mango sour so here it goes Mm. Mm. Black pudding tastes so delicious, yummy. So, want you guys? <coughs> oh, it's hot. <coughs> want you guys follow my step? Trust me, your black pudding's gonna. Hey guys, I run to storage just now. Yeah, but once you follow my step, trust me, your black pudding is going to come out so delicious just like mine. So I hope you guys enjoy watching my video. Give my video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and click the notifi notification bell so you guys will be notified whenever I upload a video. Thank you guys so much for watching and please follow me on Instagram, Cooking with Afton. Follow me on Facebook, Cooking with Afton. Thank you for watching. Bye.